So I entered in add numbers numbers together and click go and then you can see that uh right here from select and select a function it, it lists a number of uh, different functions from in the most relevant order and right there the sum function that makes sense because the sum is um, what numbers are added together so when you add numbers together you come up with a sum so the sum function makes sense so we can click on that press OK and then you can see our functions argument dialog box comes up now let me delete this um, I do have tutorials that go into more detail on functions, but the sum, um, we're going to find the sum of certain numbers. So I'm going to enter in my argument. So you can see it says number one. So that's the first number we're going to add together. We'll select the cell. Then cell number two. We can select this cell, cell number three. For number three, we can select cell D4. I'm going to um, keep selecting cells for our arguments. And then we can press OK and it will find the sum. Now an easier way to do this is click insert function and we can just instead of adding a series of numbers we can since all of our numbers are together we can just select a range of cells just like that and press OK and it will, it will work just as good. You can also enter in functions manually equals sum once you know them once you're um, familiar enough with your functions you can enter them manually instead of having to search you have to open your parentheses you always with functions you always have to open and close parentheses open your parentheses and select your cells that's a range of cells and then close your parentheses and press enter and you have the sum there's other product um, other fu functions such as the product function you can just type it in or if you don't know it you could you could have opened up that insert function dialog box like I just did and said you could have just entered the word product in description and press go and did the same thing. All right, so we're going to open it up and we're going to multiply whatever numbers we want to multiply together. Um, if our cells are not right next to each other, then we have to separate the cells that we're going to do by a comma. So I'm doing um, finding the product of cell B4 and cell D4, and then I close my parentheses. So to separate each argument, and you can see the result. We need to separate each argument with a comment. Um, and also, not all um, functions can um, use a range of cells as an argument. For example, this is a more complicated function, but the if function, um, if it's a logical test, let's say if 20 is greater than 19, and then I select that, I separate it, then the value will be 20, you know, 20 or the content within cell B4. So that's saying if cell B4 is greater than 19, then the value will be um, the content within cell B4. If not, we'll just say it'll be 0. Okay, with a function like that, the if function, uh, we could not use a range of cells. It wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't make any sense, basically. Okay, so I've covered the uh, basic, op, you know, oper operators in Excel and um, how to find functions. So you should have a decent understanding of how to use functions. Functions can also, um, when when you're doing functions, let's just say I have, um, I'm going to enter in some content here. Whoops. Here again, I'm using. I'm going to use the autofill. Look at that, week two, week three, or week four. Just keep messing with autofill on your own, and you'll see income, expenses. And let's say I'm doing this by week. All right, uh, 600, 700, 500, 300. Expenses, 200. I'm just entering in random numbers. Right arrow right arrow entering in some more numbers okay another thing with functions is that you can also use autofill with functions so let's just say um, surplus and I'll do I'll do a equals income minus expenses and hit enter 
okay you see I have my result well I can drag a formula over or a function and it's gonna find my result now let's say that our income is the same every week but our expenses are different Okay, again, let me show you the clear content. I'm just selecting some home, clear content. All right, let's just say that our income is the same every week. So I don't need, I don't, um, I don't need to enter in the income every week. Now I'm deleting that cell. I'm clicking on um, a row. I'm going to delete this row. I'm clicking on the row, right click and delete row. I'm going to go over that again. You can see that made it screwed up our formula because the cell that our formula referred to no longer exists. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the content in there. I can just right click also. So I selected all my cells, right click, and right, not delete, that's going to delete. I select all my cells, right click, and I'm going to select clear contents. Okay, so over here, let's just say income I'll make I'm making a box for income ignore all of these this is just from the previous I'll just clear them so they don't get confusing okay um, weekly income okay another thing to make content fit you can see how this goes into the next cell all I have to do is select that and you see I, I'm gonna hold my cursor right over the very right border of that column that I want to make it fit and double click there alright so weekly income let's just say every week it's the same our check is the same six hundred dollars <throat> so what I can do is I can say equals cell a5 minus our expenses for that week our expenses change so we have to enter in new expenses every week but we don't have to enter in new income all right, now what? Now watch what happens whenever I drag this formula over, right? I should be able to drag it over. But no, there's a problem. That doesn't make sense. See, 600 minus 250 is not negative 250. So we want our um, result to be. What happened here was you can see that when we dragged it over, dragged it over. All right, we're referring to cells. So the content within this cell it worked fine but since we dragged it over it also dragged the formula over so now the formula here is referring to cell B5 minus cell D7 but there's nothing in there so what we have to do is we have to make sure that our formula is locking we're referring to this cell and this locked so what I do is I'm gonna hit equals I'm gonna select that cell and then I can hit F4 and that whenever we drag formulas over it will never with those dollar signs you can also manually enter in do the dollar signs before uh, the column and before the row number um, now when we drag our, drag our um, the content over using autofill it's not those cells locked in so that will always refer to cell A5 alright so minus cell C7 and watch now we drag it over and our formula is always locked in cell A5, and you can see our result is accurate. Okay, so now you learned a little bit, a little bit about cell reference and formulas and referring to cells. That's probably the most important thing you need to know about Excel. Um, <clears throat> all right. Next thing I can go over is formatting cells. Um, you want to make your your worksheet look presentable. Um, let me clear all my content again. I'm selecting a range of cells that contains content. Right click, and then I'm clicking on clear content. All right, income. Make a quick little budget, and then um, rent, utilities. I'm just entering in my data. Um, our payment insurance groceries okay and, and all the other stuff 